Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyRAutomation.com and welcome to part 20 of our API testing with the Rest Assured and Cucumber course. And in this video, we're going to talk about working with serialization of POJOs to JSON to simplify our library that we wrote in our earlier videos. All right, so let's get started. So in our earlier videos, we already discussed about deserialization of the JSON to POJO and we saw how we can make use of the as method to perform those operations, which was pretty cool. We also created a model library within our framework and then we started writing the code, which was pretty cool and we could able to achieve those operations. But right now we're gonna do a reverse operation, which is from POJO to JSON. So for doing that, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you an example of how we can do an authentication mechanism using the POJO, which is nothing but the JSON object to the JSON itself. So as you can see, the JSON object that we have right now for the authentication has an header of email and the password. As you can see here, the email is something that I need to be passing with the password as a body to the auth of login to perform an action of authentication to get the access token. So in order for doing that, we can write a POJO class something like this. As you can see, it's actually a body which has an email and password and it's going to be exactly the same plain old Java object class with, ha with all those setter and getters. So you can see we can create this kind of class and we can pass this login body as a parameter within our method that we wrote in our earlier video to perform the authentication operation. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna flip to my IntelliJ IDE. As you can see for this particular step definition, we have the hash map of the body being passed as a parameter for the authenticate method over here. And we are always using the hash map for all the methods that we have wrote, even for the V2 library. So you can see that this is also the hash map and this is also the hash map and this is also the hash map for both the path and the body parameter. So what if in the world of this POJOs we could able to simplify these operation in much greater way? We can achieve that by replacing all of them to an object basically. So for this particular authenticate I could easily replace this to object of Java and then achieve that. But object can be of anything, basically. It can be a hash map or it can be a POJO as well. So I'm first gonna create a new class file and I'm gonna call this as a login body, basically. So as you can see within our Postman, we are passing a body within our login to get the token. So I'm just gonna create the body and I'm gonna create two private strings here. The first one is the email and make sure that they match the JSON uh, naming convention and then I'm going to create a password here. And as you know with IntelliJ IDE I can easily uh, create the getters and the setter uh, but make sure you also uh, create a login body of the constructor and now I can just do an alt insert of the getter and the setter for both of them. That's it. Now we have everything in place and we can straight away use these guys to perform the action over here. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of having this hash map to get this particular job done, I'm just gonna uh, copy these two lines or maybe copy this and comment these two lines over here. I'm gonna paste these two lines Instead of this particular value, basically, I'm gonna do something like this. Login body of the login body is equal to new of the login body. And then login body dot set email. I'm gonna set this particular email. And similarly, login body dot set password of this particular password that is coming in. That's it. And this login body, now I can directly pass in here for the authenticate method, which can do the exact same operation. So if you don't believe me, I can directly go to this execute API method for the post. Uh, I can put a breakpoint there. 
and I'm gonna just perform a debug operation so that I can show you what's basically gonna go into the request uh, basically. So if I go to the request over here and just expand this, you can see that the body right now is still a JSON. So automatically, this particular POJO class has been serialized into a JSON body and then we are going to perform the rest of operation without any hesitation. So if I just keep running this, you can see that the test should execute without any problem if I'm not wrong and you can see that this test got passed successfully. And now if I just open, you can see that the supposed operation happened for the login and there was a get operation happened for the login uh, for the location of query parameter id is equal to one and things are working as expected which is pretty cool so this is how we can able to achieve the serialization of pojo into a json object much easily in rest assured thank you